What's up, everybody? I'm Tammy Harrison, and welcome to another exciting episode of Mix Cocktail Hour coming to you live. From now, I would like to call it Awesome City. So, today we have a fantastic show planned for you guys, so let's get on with it. Please welcome my co host and mix head bartender, Scott Cushman. Yes, Timmy! Timmy, Timmy, Timmy! We did it! We did it. We did it. We're back together once again. Had another week off from you. Yeah. Needed yeah. a lot of alcohol to yeah. get through that. I did not. I actually watched the entire show. People were that were in the chat saw. I was there I know, with you. It was great. I did see that you were in there. I was. That was fantastic. It was great, by the way. And speaking of chat, let us give a quick shout out to uh, Jam Garcia, who's in the house. What's we up, also Jam? have Danny here, Dixie, Larry, Brittany, Jason. We also have Jen, Kyle Tender, Deirdre, Jay. We've got Joe in the house. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in so far. Yes. So. So, Tammy. Are you, I love, I love the, our beginning. Yeah. I just love our beginning because yeah. it's, it's that, and then it is the Tammy mischief face. Yeah. So. And so then we get in. Planned. Yes, I figured. What do we got, begin. Tam Tam? Okay. <laughs> so um, today. Yeah. Two things. Today is Wear Blue Day. This is as Clean blue as I memo. get. This is as blue as I do. So apparently yeah. the first Friday in March uh -huh. is Wear Blue Day. Okay. Didn't know that. Now we do. Huh. Okay. So that's the first thing. Okay. Spectacular. Second thing is that today is National Absinthe Day. Shut up. Yes. I love absinthe. Okay. I so love absinthe. Then you're gonna love what I made for you. I made this little guy. I think I recognize it, but I'm going, is this invented by Ernest Hemingway? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I did not know that before we started. Very simple yeah, drink. Yeah, very. Very simple drink, invented around 1935. Mm -hmm. And his recommendation yeah. was, quote, drink at least three to five of them. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, so this is called Death in the Afternoon. Death in the Afternoon. And I made it. It's so simple. It is literally just absinthe uh -huh. and champagne. Tammy, do you know that this drink actually holds a pretty significant place in yours and my history? Well, I know we've done Hemingway drinks before. Well, we've but, also... Well, I called it the Starry Night, which it was yes. not. The, uh, the first drink you and I ever did together was a play on this mm -hmm. from a book called As the Red Nose Goes. Mm -hmm. uh, it is called The Death at Dusk. Yeah, Death this at Dusk. This is the death in the afternoon. Look yeah, at this. I know. Full circle. Right? Yeah, I guess we're going into chapter two chapter of what two. you and I have to do together. 2.0. Cheers, Tammy. Cheers, everybody, oh, to uh, also National Absinthe Day. And mm, funny thing mm. is that absinthe was still illegal. It was banned. Yep. Until 2007. That's right. From, That's from 1911 crazy. to 2007. That is crazy because people thought people went crazy from it. And you know that was a uh, it was a whole propaganda. It was a, so it was the winemakers. So yeah. wine wine during the uh, there, there was a French uh, bug that went through wine. Wine mm. was hard to make, and so the fr the French were like, oh my God, we are going to lose people to drinking absinthe. So we have to come up with a with a thing that says it will drive you crazy. Yeah. Uh, there is as much chance that this will drive you crazy as, uh, say, uh, eating a rose. And you and I did that. Uh, mm, and yes. and uh, Danny did Danny that by himself. Rose. Yes. Yeah. Didn't go completely crazy. We're all doing just fine. Um, we have. Uh, oh, my dad's in the house. Great. Hi, Daddy. My dad's in the house. Uh, we also have Glenn here. Oh, good. Is that your brother? That is my dad. That's your <laughs> that is dad. Also my dad. Oh, yes. so our dads are yes. tuning in today. So we have Look at this. Glenn and uh, Terry Sr. Oh, that's great. In the house. Okay. Fantastic. Um, so shout out to uh, those gentlemen. Um, I say, let's get on with the first drink. That you I have say, up while let's I'll sip on this. Let's do this now, Tammy. I do want to uh, say, speaking of history, mm. speaking of history with. Bars and people. Yeah. Uh, in my long history as a bartender, uh, I've been doing this for 16 years now, I've worked with some absolutely incredible uh, uh, bartenders that also happen to be female. Mm. Uh, this is the beginning of uh, Women's History Month. Yes. And so That's I right. feel like oftentimes when we picture 
bartenders, we see men, uh, we see burly with True. the, but honestly, there have been some some phenomenal female bartenders. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to, uh, today, really sort of dig into that history. Love it. I wanted to find cocktails that were created by famous women bartenders. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. Love it. Today. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's also going to be my mom's birthday this week. Uh, so I figured, uh, why not uh, get deep into... Happy uh, birthday, Mommy Cushman. Yes, happy birthday. Uh, Mommy Lang. Mommy oh, Lang. Mommy Lang. Yes. Sorry. She, uh, she is not married to this guy uh, oh. that's in the chat right now. Oh, sorry. Uh, they would have killed each other. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. She's alive. They're both alive because yes. they're not, uh, not together. Not together. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, we, uh, we are going to be doing one from probably the most famous female bartender of all time. Okay. Uh, really uh, a... A, a person that that was that brought cocktailing about uh, in London. <gasps> Can I guess? Yes. Did she work at the Savoy Hotel? She did. <gasps> she did. Her name is Ada Coleman. Ada Coley Coleman. We will be doing an Ada Coley Coleman cocktail. Nice. That is right. A uh, very nice Tammy. I do love uh, when you uh, when you learn. I'm not as silly as you look. That is true. I look, I look ridiculously silly. Kidding. I look like a, uh, <laughs> look like a Muppet sometimes. Um, let's begin. This is called the Hanky Panky. Oh, David Strickland already got it. Yeah. Before you even mention it. I figured it. David go. Strickland would knock this one out. David Strickland uh, runs a few uh, great, uh, he's a, just a generally good guy. Um, we are going to be doing the Hanky Panky. Love it. From Ada Coley Coleman. Yeah. Uh, a fairly simple cocktail, but really did sort of bring some interesting stuff. A uh, Hanky Panky, uh, not a reference to any kind of uh, weird uh, sex stuff. Oh, it's uh, not? No. No, it meant magic what else back in the day. Oh. It meant magic, just oh. like a little hanky panky, a little, a little razzle dazzle, a little uh, show me woe me. Okay. That's not, the last one wasn't show real. Show me woe me. Yeah, the last one wasn't real. So don't, okay. uh, don't get that going. Uh, we're going to start off uh, with one of my favorite ingredients in the entire world, fernet. Branca, uh, Fernet Branca, and Amaro. Uh, I will be throwing down my coin. Anybody else that has their coin ready to go? I don't have any. I know, I know, we'll get you, you one. That's why you throw it down, because you know no one will take I it. I do, yes. Uh, I know that my dad is watching. My dad yeah. does have a coin. He does? He does, he got one for Christmas. Wow. It took me forever to get him one from Boston. That's where he grew up. So uh, he was born in Boston. I was born in Arizona, so I have my Arizona coin ready to go. Uh, if, oh, you, do you mind passing me uh, a need? little shot glass? Sure. Or just one of those, just any glass. This? Oh, wait, yeah, that's a that's a salt oh, shaker. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, anybody that is uh, drinking uh, with me today, uh, anybody that does have their uh, Fernet coin on them, Tammy doesn't. I do not. So I'll be drinking on my own. Uh, cheers oh, to me. Well, Sorry, Tam Tam. More of my death in the afternoon. Pretty good, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Great. So uh, David Strickland, he is Disney Drinking Society. That, that is Disney the Drinking Society is in the house. Yeah, the mouse oh, is in the house. Whoop. Is how we like to say it. Which is fantastic. And also Scott Milton. Oh, great. Shout out to uh, all the mix crew. Hey, Scott, what's up? Uh, so we are going to bitter this cocktail. Yeah. You know, uh, a basic cocktail, a booze, bitter, sweet. We're gonna bitter this with some Fernet Branca. Uh, Fernet Branca at 0.25 ounces. Just a touch of that Fernet. Little Fernet goes a long way yeah. to getting you into a bitter nightmare. Uh, so uh, keep that. Uh, really sort of calm, really sort of easy. Uh, next two ingredients, big in London. Mm -hmm. Big in London. This, mm -hmm. These are the Beatles uh, that we're talking about. Uh, we are going to start off over here with just a little bit of gin. Yeah, cool. Gin, why not? We need it. Gin. Uh, we're going to do an ounce and a half. All right, that's decent. Something nice, something light. So the Hanky Panky drink came around like beginning of the 1900s, right? Yeah. It's quite early on. I, I think you're going to. Prohibition in America. Yes, before Prohibition right. in America, this was a uh, this is a situation, and unfortunately for Ada Ada, Ada Coleman, Ada mm -hmm. Ada Coleman or Ada Coley Coleman, uh, you're gonna find that a lot of my stories tonight end sort of tragically, oh. uh, because Ada was a phenomenal bartender, mm. just this just spectacular. Uh, unfortunately, we don't know exactly which drink she created because she never wrote a book. Uh, and mm. people came back uh, later, uh, the Savoy uh, yeah. came out later, and most of those were probably at least worked on by her, yeah. but she just sort of disappeared. Of That's sort of how this works. So I am trying to, uh, d we definitely know that this was a, a, a Coley drink. Well, this is crazy in general. That's why I appreciate you doing actually like a female bartender yeah. kind of evening because 
not just female bartenders right. weren't, that was unheard of to even have a woman behind the bar. Right. It was unheard of to have women in, in the bar. bar. Yes. Women were banned, not just in America, but in, in England. In England. And women for the longest were not even allowed in pubs yeah. without men accompanying them. It's, uh, that's the best part about prohibition, yeah. was that women, if nobody is allowed in bars, yeah. let's bring, I mean, I have worked in bars. A bar without any women yeah. is awful. Yeah. It is awful. It's it is gross. Yeah. Just a bunch of dudes just yeah. trying to like, I don't know what they're trying to do. Yeah. It's just no good. I mean, there are some bars, I'm sure that's great, but uh, the bars that I worked at, uh, we wanted those ladies. A little so, softer touch. Samantha asks, yes, the gin, always. Which one are you using? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, I use the Mulholland gin today. Mm. It is an American gin, an American style gin. Uh, follows sort of the conventions of a London dry, uh, but has a touch more a personality to it. It's a Los Angeles based gin. Like it. Yeah. Uh, next thing we're gonna be putting in is an ounce and a half of a uh, of an Italian vermouth, something nice and red. We're keeping everything a little Italian, even though this is kind of Londony. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Fernet Branco, of course. Fernet, the Amaro. We have the Amaro. vermouth. We have this whole thing. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's the cocktail. Love it. Uh, cocktails didn't have to be uh, 57, 57 uh, ingredients uh, yeah. plus a uh, there we go uh, plus a garnish. Uh, they used to just be, you know, something nice and easy to sip on. See, Glenn says I usually start with Zacapa. Yes. Oh my God. And I add honestly more as needed. That. And Danny was also saying, great shout out for Zacapa. It's delicious. Oh God. And a quick shout out also to Betty, who's tuned in from England. Danny and Glenn Danny are and going Glenn. to become friends, and it's going to be very awkward for you and me. Yes. <laughs> because pretty uh, much. Yeah, that's going to be <laughs> uh, really weird. Uh, I have a lot of my people. I do a show uh, tomorrow night on Saturday nights. Uh -huh. Uh, and I now, most, about half the people sign in just for the Glenn comments. Uh, they could care less about what I'm up to. So I remember tuning into your out. show mm -hmm. on Saturdays, and I think Glenn, who's your dad, who was my dad, uh, yes. didn't tune in. Everyone yes. was asking, and I yes. was thinking, who is who's Glenn? This Glenn? Yeah. Who's this Glenn guy that everyone wants? Yeah, no. Uh, honestly, had Glenn Close uh, shown up, it would have been about the same reaction. People lost their mind. Oh, and really? Glenn Close is a national treasure. Yes. Never won an Oscar, but a national treasure. National treasure. You know? uh, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, filter this in using okay. uh, using our uh, julep strainer. Since we have stirred this one, uh, why not? And let's give this just a bit of a uh, garnish here. Remember when we garnish stuff with peels, we want to cut as close to the cocktail as we can so that uh, we get some of those oils in there. I always right. love a touch of oil on top of yeah. this cocktail right here. Slider in, and I will pass that over to you, Tammy. Yeah. This is Ada Coley Coleman's Hanky Panky, uh, named because a, uh, a patron of hers, somebody that, that loved her, came in and said, I imagine he said it like this, Hoo -hoo, that's the Hanky Panky. Uh, that's, a, that's my old time. No, voice. you've done a better English. Hoo -hoh, hoo -hoh, you've done a better English accent. Hoo -hoh, give me a fish, I'm on walrus. It's also my walrus voice, just so you know. Me a fish? As a walrus voice. Oh, my dad actually <laughs> just wrote that when my mom and my dad were in the 1970s in Australia, uh -huh. it still was, even in Australia, not permitted to go to a bar with a woman. And I can't imagine, it, I cannot imagine an Australian not drunk. So that is crazy. Well, my dad's English. I've met like as well, 15 so of them and they've all been drunk. I'm the sure my dad time. went down to the pub without I, my mom. I'm sure he did. Many a times. So, Hanky Panky. The Hanky Panky by by Madame Coley Coleman. Cheers to the female, female bartenders. bartenders. Yeah. And uh, Ada Coleman. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, smells great. Yeah. That's just that orange. Uh, mm -hmm. Orange isn't, yeah. Get right into that, right? Absolutely. Yeah. See, nowadays it would mean something different. This would lead to some hanky panky. Yes, yes, you know? yes, yes, yes. I don't not, know. Not one, maybe. Do we have four. any? Uh, do we have any English people that are in the audience that can tell us whether hanky panky? Yeah, my dad. Okay, so does, is hanky panky the same thing? Yeah. There now, so hanky panky is. Yeah. If you're uh, like, oh yeah, no, we got up some hanky panky. Not that anyone says. Hanky that. panky. No, no, actually, no, I'm Tammy Harrison, like, and I do hanky panky. Yeah. <laughs> Every weekend. Every weekend, I'll hanky pank. Do a little hanky pank. You put your pank down, I'm gonna hank it. Um, so I was. Give me your say... fish. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, Tammy. Um, <laughs> I would say hanky panky is around. Uh huh. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the running, uh, 
you know, gag. No. With the cool kids. No, 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 no. Anymore. No. I've never concerned myself. But this is delicious. This is smooth. This yeah. is this brings you right back. I can just imagine sitting in a Savoy yeah. hotel, drinking this in a bar, mm -hmm. smoking a cigarette with those long, you know, this whatever they're called. The these, French ones. The, the French uh, ones. The crutch. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Got the beret on, so that kind of fits. Oh, this is delicious. Mm. Scott, uh, merci. Mmm. Oui, oui. Oh, this is great. This is yummy. Yeah. It smells delicious. It's funny because it tastes actually different to how it smells. Yeah. It smells very orangey. Orangey, yeah. It tastes yeah. boozy. Yeah, that's just that uh, that garnish. Mm. You can honestly switch up that garnish all you'd like. Uh, mm. If you want something that's a little more grapefruity, a little more limey, a little more lemon, yeah. uh, switch up that peel. Uh, it really shouldn't flavor the drink at all. It should just give you that aroma the outside. The little nose. Oh, so yeah. you can do it with a lemon? Yeah, sure. Or a lime? Uh, listen, oh. uh, I'm not world's your mother. Your oyster. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, the world's your walrus. Mm. <laughs> yum, yum. All right, I'll put that down here. Okay. All right. Drink numero dos. Oh, we're moving into drink number two. Yeah, that's We it. have no business in between. I don't know why I can read some stuff. No, here, I mean, but, listen, I'll um, jump. Listen, I, I, I'll, let me I see. got places to be. Uh, Glenn, your dad, says oh, he's a national disaster. Yes. Because we talked about Glenn Close being a national Glenn Close treasure. is a national treasure, Your dad yes. calls himself a national disaster. I'm glad you got that joke. I did not get that joke yet. Dave is in the house. Dave Shepard from Florida. We love you so oh, much. Up, Thank Dave? you, Dave, for tuning in. Um, and then we have, of course, Samantha says, good one, Glenn. Everyone's laughing about your dad. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, God. Um, he has Monica, another audience. Monica said that she received our coasters, and they are awesome. Yes. Thank you. Thank yes. you so much. Please good. enjoy your coasters. Take some photos. Like, subscribe, post everywhere you can about us and Mix Cocktail Hour. And let me scroll some more. Uh, Killer Vamp says, I need to win me some coasters. Guess what? You will have the chance to win some coasters a little later on very, in the show. Soon. Plus, we will be announcing the winner from last week's competition to win some coasters, and I will be making that person's drink. Ooh. How exciting. Ooh. How exciting. This is very exciting. So, uh, yeah, drink numero dos. Drink number two. So, uh, we started uh, we started early. Yeah. Uh, we're moving way closer to uh, our time, so uh, we're talking uh, 19, uh, 1980s, okay. uh, this uh, this uh, bartender. He was Audrey Sanders. Uh, oh. so, sorry, Audrey Saunders. Uh, Audrey Saunders. She uh, worked with Dale DeGraw. So you say it like me, Saunders. Well, it's S-A-U-N-D-E-R-S. How would you say that? Saunders. And then how would you say S-A-N-D-E-R-S? Sa uh, Saunders. Ah. Uh, Saunders and Saunders. So this is Saunders. This is Saunders. This is Audrey Saunders. Audrey Saunders. Yeah. Correct. We're doing Audrey Saunders. Yeah. Yeah. This is called the Pearl. <laughs> this is yeah. called. This is called the. <laughs> I lost. I lost it. Damn it! I can't do it. Uh, this is called the French Pearl. So this ah. woman. Uh, this woman was working right alongside uh, Dale DeGroff, who is uh, generally consider uh, considered the father of modern cocktail. So, oh, nice. uh, so basically, we lost cocktails after Prohibition. Yeah. Uh, we sort of lost them until uh, the 70s and 80s. People were just. Oh, we didn't in the Caribbean islands. They were coming up with all sorts of good well, stuff. Well, yeah, no. Uh, so out, outside, people yeah. were coming up with a bit of the American, like the American, the American yeah. Revolution yes. uh, of this stuff. Uh, Merca. And Merca. Yes. Aubrey Saunders is what we're talking Aubrey about, though. Aubrey Saunders. Uh, we, uh, we, um, so anyway, uh, uh, Dale DeGroff was running a place called the Rainbow Room, and, uh, That sounds familiar. Super, super famous, yeah. uh, interesting a cocktail lounge. It's where the uh, Cosmopolitan was created. Okay, a lot of other one. ones, yeah. Yep. Um, uh, anyway, uh, Audrey was working there mm -hmm. uh, and said, I, I want a shot behind the bar. And everyone said, that's for like, yeah. that's for like dudes, that's like hard work. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure, sister? Are you sure? Able-bodied uh, people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And she was like, no, no. I, I do want that. Yeah. I do want that. And uh, she got me on the bar. She uh, loved it. She has then uh, since opened up a number of great uh, uh, bars. Uh, the the uh, her most I don't know her most famous, but her her most recent, uh, the Pegu Club, uh, just closed uh, during uh, during COVID. So kind of ah. a sad situation Ooh. that we lost yeah. uh, her. But uh, this drink is called the French Pearl. It is it, it's. It's so, you know you have one of those things where you, you, you uh, like there's no way nobody's thought of this and it turns out 
nobody has, but it's been there the whole time. Okay. This is that kind of cocktail. It's right in front of it's you. Not, it's not crazy complex. It's not like, it's, you know, you're, we're not bringing in like bat guano That's to make thing. it. Sometimes less is more. That's, People and think she, to think of something new, you have to throw in 30 different ingredients That's exactly to be different. It. And sometimes you just don't. She absolutely nailed this cocktail. It is called oh, the, uh, the French Pearl. French let's, Pearl. The French Pearl. Pearl. The Pearl from is still Aubrey good. Saunders. That's how we're doing this. The Pearl. My uh, dad says, who is English? Following up on your question about Hanky Panky. Hanky Panky is a polite way of saying you are getting up to mischief <laughs> with the opposite gender. It's good fun. Yes. Exclamation mark. The Hanky Panky. There we have it. That is that's the most the English way to describe sex I've ever heard in yes. my life. Well, that's... Getting up to no good with the opposite sex. Yes. No, getting up to mischief. Mischief. Without our knickers. Yes. <laughs> don't get your knickers in a bunch. Don't keep yes. them on. That's yes. the best way. So. Uh, what I'm doing right now, Tammy, is I am uh, I am prepping some mints. Smack in the mint. Smack in the mint. Waking up the baby. Yeah, we have a uh, fresh, beautiful mint here. Love it. Uh, perky mint. As very we perky very mint. Very perky. Very, very important to us that our mint perks right up. Yes. Yes. Perky this, mint. We call this it here mint is not awesome city. Very perky mint. Very perky mint. Perky. It's important we to us. We had a little sad mint. At we times. did. Today we have perky mint. Yes, last week exactly. I was I was watching that mint just wilt, yes. wilt away, wilt like a flower in a cell. <laughs> Tomoko's in the house. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Tomoko, what's, what's up? What's up, Tomoko? Uh, that was a simple syrup I'm putting in here. Yes. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Why not? Uh, we're going to be putting in three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Which that's a whole lime. That's a whole that's lime. A whole lime. That's all the lime that we can get right in through here, right in through there. So that's three quarters. Now, okay. uh, I like to put in, some people uh, like to muddle with just the sugar and the mint. Uh, I like to muddle with the sugar, mint, and lime. I think okay. the lime gets in with the acids. It likes to get in and uh, really become a part of what it is, it sort of like breaks down the mint so that you can get more of a minty flavor. Okay. So I put the lime in there and we're gonna muddle. Now, uh, how do we muddle, Tammy? Uh, do we run at this like we are trying to batten down the hatches or? I would say push it down and turn it around. Very good, very good. Yeah, we are just going to lightly suggest. Oh, you do it like that? I like oh, to, see, so would, you can, yeah, would, you can do this do as well. I feel yeah. like you have a little bit more control from up here. We are looking to Less just sort of suggest. We are suggesting that oh, this. Oh, so you don't mint... want to really. That's exactly it. Yeah, we made a drink. Puree everything that's in there. That's exactly okay, right. We made a drink two weeks ago called the uh, called the Old Cuban, yes. where I really had to beat that mint up. Yes. That is not the case here. We just want this mint to sort of give us its little secrets. This is going to be some light hanky panky that we have going on with this mint uh, currently. That's what we're going with. Mischief. So just a little mischief. A little mischief. Yes, uh, yes. with the opposite uh, sex yes. situation there. Uh, we, uh, she calls for a specific type of gin. Okay. A specific type of gin that she calls for is Plymouth. Why? Well, you know, Plymouth just, it has a, a different a flavor than London Dry. Uh, okay. So, uh, 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 I don't like to say the word so unique because you can either be unique or not unique. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I think it works here. This was so unique yeah. uh, within gin that Plymouth is actually its own classification of gin. It's not just really? a brand. Plymouth gin is its own type of gin as well. Huh. Kind of interesting. Yeah. Right? Well, I have, I have thoughts in my mind. I don't Bring them. Well, because um, cars are categorized in sizes. Sure. Back in the day, Volkswagen. Volkswagen, yeah. Whatever, however you say. The people's American, car. American, yeah. Was its own category because there wasn't a car that was. Yes. You know how there's like sedan and there's sure. SUV and this thing. And Volkswagen was its own category. So I'm just thinking, okay, and that came along. Yeah. Cars were invented, obviously, but then something new came along. Exactly. And then it has its own category. So gin so is okay. just juniper that flavored. My, that was literally, yeah. I just. Nailed it. So this is the, the this is the Volkswagen yes. of, uh, <laughs> of, the, uh, <laughs> of the of, of the gins. Gotcha. Uh, there is nobody else. Nobody else can make Plymouth gin. Only Plymouth Gin can make Plymouth Gin. Now we're using the Navy Strength. Is it distilled donga? It's got special barrels that you it's know, coming to be with. Honest, the, the, uh, the juniper berries are from the unicorn trees. We, we the... know about as much about the surface of Jupiter oh. as we do about what some of these gins. There's the red dot. It's my favorite planet. Yeah. 
those are two right. things we know. Yes. Yeah, those. So we know two things. Well, there's two things you didn't know. I did not about, well, well, I knew. I knew. About, well, I knew. Sorry, one second. I knew there was a red dot. Yes. I did not know it was your favorite planet. Correct. Is that a fact, though? That I guess that is. Yes. Yeah, I guess that's. It is. It's beautiful. I want right. to do a painting of Jupiter. Uh, I should have gone with uh, Mars or something. But we we have somebody. Anyway, anyway. yes. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> we now have your. Uh, uh, we now have uh, Jin. We have the Volkswagen of Jin called yes. Plymouth, and we are going to uh, add. As she calls for pastis, uh, I am going to instead oh. use some absinthe. There uh, we in go. this, keeping uh, since, it in National Absinthe Day. I mean, honestly, Tammy, hey. you and I are you and I are connected at the brain. At a scary stem. level. It's weird. It is a very scary level. I don't put absinthe in all of my drinks, but uh, when Tammy does, I do too. So we have this. Oh, cocktail. your dad has said something great. Oh God. The Rainbow Room is slash was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So clearly he's been there. Yeah. Had to go buy a big boy shirt to get in. Uh, just real quick, I just want to let you guys know. Well, my then Kyle Tender said, uh -huh. "You mean a super fancy Tommy Bahama?" Yes, yes. Uh, I was going to, I was going to mention that. My oh. dad only wears Tommy Bahamas. Really? That's the only shirt that he wears. The we had a dress code at my wedding, and we had to let him in wearing his Tommy Bahama. Uh, uh, that's the kind of people we're dealing with here, uh, Danny. I'm I warning you. I'm warning you about going that's down. That's why David Strickland says, "I want to hang out with Glenn." Oh God. Getting oh, some more fans in the house, Glenn. He okay. sounds fantastic. Yeah, he's great. Okay. Okay. That's great. All right. Let's make a drink. All right. So we have we have a French pearl ready to okay. go. Shake a 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 shake
differ. No, shouldn't differ, uh, shouldn't differ. You'll just have a slightly more alcoholic version of it with more absinthe. Yeah, uh, so if you do have, yeah, if you do have mm -hmm. pastis, mm -hmm. uh, uh, quarter an ounce, if you have absinthe, quarter of an ounce, you're just gonna bump up your alcohol, mm -hmm. uh, your ABV by about. Do you want to get drunker quicker? Yes. Add absinthe. And I, I know the uh, I know the uh, apostle does so absinthe, buddy. It's fantastic. Yeah. Apparently, though, in the chat also, did your dad wear a Tommy Bahama shirt to your wedding? He did. Okay. Yeah, I'm that, saying that is the truth. No, I was saying okay. we we, uh, we e everybody we else show. everybody else wore regular people clothes, <laughs> even the kids. Yeah, but my dad wore something about it. But you know what? It, we, they would have thought he, he would he'd been kidnapped if he showed up in anything else and they'd send an imposter. Probably. Yeah, yeah it sounds, sounds like it. Yeah. So this is the point where I think Good. we should mention who won last week's competition. I'm excited to see. I don't know. This is exciting. So it was pretty easy, to be honest. We didn't make it difficult. So to win these amazing, there we go, four of them, Coasters, our mixed cocktail, our coasters, um, all I said was, please let me know in the comment section of my next Instagram post, what's your favorite cocktail? Mm. So we had some we had some really, really great cocktails in there, but we did narrow it down, and we narrowed it down to the cocktail diaries. Ooh, who that suggested sounds like a good one. the porn star martini. Of course. The fastest the growing. The Star Martini. It's the fastest, it's the, it's the, the fastest, bec becoming the most uh, popular. It's the fastest. I know, it's like the cosmopolitan of the, yeah. the 20, not even 20, 2015. Yeah. It kind of became it's a big one. quite. It's a big one. It's been around since about, what, 2002? Something like that. I think it was uh, Doug uh, Akram, I think sure. his name was, that actually. In, an American? An, an American. Huh. That, that, made a rendition of, sure. the, of the, the porn star martini. So I'm gonna show you my rendition, because I did promise Excellent. to make the cocktail mm, that I love it. wins the competition. Um, so we're gonna be making the porn star martini. So I'm gonna need some shaking tins. Do you have sure. some tins for me, Liz? Beautiful. And this is gonna be a bit more of a simplified version. Um, what you would normally need are some passion fruits itself. Passion fruits are not in season mm. right now. So I will show you how to make the porn star martini without passion fruit being in season. So first off, what you're gonna take is vanilla flavored oh. vodka. I alone as, the smell of this. Yeah. Is as a so big good. burly guy, have a difficult time expressing oh. my love for flavored vodkas. But if I could, so good. Vanilla okay. vodka is vanilla one of the best. vodka is fantastic. I just it's just a one of the jigger. best. If you have one spare sure. for me, take this out of here. We're gonna do two ounces of this guy. So let's not get shy. Let's not get shy. Let's go big for the porn star martini. There you go. Take yeah. your pour for you. You're Thank drinking you. it. Oh, am I? Yeah. Ooh. I'm making it for you. Oh, Tammy. Oh, come oh on. boy, I love it. So I from, love it. From now on out, it's actually pretty simple. It's all halves. From, oh good. From now on, okay? So what we're gonna take- So it starts at two and it goes half, half, half. Two, half, half, half. Great. So what we're gonna take is half an ounce of Pessoa. Mm. Love Pessoa, passion fruit liqueur. This pretty much takes the place of adding in, if you wanna have that itty bitty bit yeah. of freshness, you're gonna add the passion fruit mm -hmm. in, right? Don't have the passion fruit. This will do the job. Uh, to be honest, I thought that I would hate this stuff when I first read about it, like when really? I was first like learning about it. I love it. And now I've been seeking out a bottle for the past three it's weeks. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's from the brand really of Lucas good. Bowls, who does a phenomenal oh, no amount of stuff. Oh, they good. do all the Bowls Geneva, they mm. do part of it is um, uh, Limoncello, they yeah. do Galliano, and um, Pessoa, it comes from Brazil. It's made yeah. in France, but the passion fruit actually comes from Brazil, which is great. Huh. So, awesome. info for it you really guys. is good. So, uh, then we're gonna add in a, it says, I think half an ounce of, of lime, do you have a knife somewhere? Oh, you have Use one. that one. Oh, fantastic. It's yeah. like three quarters. Yeah, I figured, uh, I, figured I, would, I would get that ready. Perfect. So then we're gonna add in a itty bitty bit of lime. No, I do it perfectly. Do I you? Won't, I won't squirt you. Do you? Yes. Good work, Tammy. Lucky. <laughs> That's a good amount of right there. And then half of simple syrup. 
So lime, simple syrup, passion fruit, yep. vanilla vodka. Yes. So his, the, the Douglas Ankara version mm -hmm. calls for vanilla simple syrup. Oh. I find that a little bit too much vanilla. Sure. So, oh, in vanilla simple opinion. syrup on top of vanilla vodka? Yes. That seems a little vanilla-y. Yeah. Right? Um, so, I need ice. Can you throw a yeah, little ice in there for me? Sure thing. Get it. So, close this bad boy up. Watch Scott do the Tammy dance. Here we go. Little shake a Other side for good measure. That is a terrible Tammy dance. I don't, I don't do a Tammy dance. Oh my god. I don't do a Tammy dance. Oh! Yeah! What a move. Right? What a move. Hey. Hey. Got it, flaunt it. Nail it. There. So, uh, nail we're just it, gonna drain it. this. We're gonna say drain, huh? I say drain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm draining it. <laughs> yeah. I'm draining it out. I'm um, changing the way I say it. I don't know why I've said strain. strain this whole time. It's draining it. It's draining. We're going to drain it real quick if we yeah. can. What does a drain do? It sifts out stuff. Puts it down the, the hole in the I'm going to put this sink. in a coop for you. How does that sound? I love it. Uh, would you would you prefer a better... Uh, yeah. Yeah, why don't we do this? Yeah. I will drain it. Yeah, you drain it. Yeah. With the if, you could, if you could use strainer. my Hawthorne drainer real quick. Use a Hawthorne drainer. <laughs> oh, that is pretty. Right? Oh, boy. Okay, I don't so, particularly care uh, for the look of me holding a pink drink, but I've never turned no, one I know, down. But I've never see, turned one down. I love it. If passion fruit was now in season, mm -hmm. what you would do is, first of all, you'd have the, 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 the passion fruit puree sure. almost in the drink. Then you would garnish it with a full half mm. of um, the passion fruit oh. on top. So we don't have that. So imagine, imagine <laughs> it in there. In your, in your little okay. brain. In your little Think brain. About this, that... Imagine it in there. And here you go. Thank you, this Tam. is the porn star. Oh my gosh. Martini. Mm. Yeah, see, I just. I, do you I, like it? I actually do. Do you like it? I actually do. Do you still have some It right is. Um, if we could edit this later, uh, I'm going to give Probably a good not. review of this. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, see how well I measured that? There's I none left. I honestly think this is a really nice, like an interesting balance. Uh, it, uh, I, oh, I get it. I yes. know. I get it. The oh, the problem. So good. The problem I find with vanilla so vodka good. stuff uh, is is you you end up uh, you end up going too sweet. Yeah. This is not too sweet. Got to be careful. That's mm. why I'm thinking. And when I was making this, I was like, okay. And I was looking at his recipe, the the Doug Anker who came up mm. with this. Yeah. And I don't know if he was focusing a little too much on the the uh, cosmopolitan, mm -hmm. which is so sweet. Yeah. Um, I love it. Vanilla simple syrup is not a thing to it's do. It's too much. I would keep out, even without the passion fruit, to be honest. Yeah. I don't think it even needs it. Garnish would be nice. Yeah. Okay, make it look pretty. Yeah. As this, I think this is a lot more balanced that we yeah. just have two fluid ounces of vanilla flavored vodka. Yeah. We have half an ounce of uh, lime juice, half an ounce of passion fruit yeah. liqueur. The Pessoa is fantastic for yeah. that. Um, and half an ounce of simple syrup, and yeah. that is it. And you I put think, yourself a porn star. I think you throw five dashes of uh, Angostura bitters in there. It'll yeah. give it. It'll give it a more uh, like a darker flavor yeah. or a darker look. Yeah. And uh, then dudes can walk around. Do you know how Doug thing? Angler came up with uh, that he called it the porn star martini? I have no idea. I imagine it's probably something gross. Legend has it yeah. that he thought that that is what porn stars' perfumes would smell like. There we go. <laughs> Little fun fact for you guys. That's a, again, we're, we're going fast and loose with these facts, yeah. Tammy. These yeah. facts are, yeah. All right. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, so. Okay, let's do our last Drink number one. Three. And yes. this last one, I yes. just, I, I, I want to give credit where credit is due. Yes. Again, I have worked for some fabulous female uh, bartenders, uh, bartenders who are who are bartenders, uh, happen to, who also happen to be women. Uh, yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. I, I often feel like uh, women bartenders just, they don't get the credit. Uh, Ada Coleman didn't get her credit, and uh, Daphne Henderson yeah. did, oh, not yes. get, did not get her credit. Uh, she, at this point, we have gone through, we figured out exactly uh, who uh, Daphne Henderson was. Well, not exactly, but we know uh, who Daphne Henderson was. It was 1970, she worked at a place uh, on the, uh, in the British Isles, um, or the uh, British, British Virgin Isles. Mm. Called the Soggy Dollar Bar. 
Now, my dad is going to light up because he's so been there. Adorable. Yeah, uh, basically the idea is this bar is on the beach. Uh, uh, boats pull up to it. There's nowhere for the boats to dock, so you have to jump off the boat and you have to swim in. So everybody has what? soggy dollars when they get oh, up to there. Yeah, okay. everybody has soggy dollars. They pay for it uh, with soggy awesome. dollars. Uh, uh -huh. This cocktail was created at the Soggy Dollar Bar by Daphne Henderson. She was an English woman. She moved uh, out there uh, in the 1970s. 1990s roll around mm -hmm. and a rum called Pusser's came through. Pusses. Pussers. So a pusser used to be somebody that would, uh, on a on a British Navy boat, they would be the ones that would give out the daily booze. They were the pusser. Oh, okay. You would be pussed uh, your booze. Uh, anyway, pussers came through. They put a trademark on this drink. Trademarks never get put on drinks. There's a couple other yeah. ones, uh, like the, uh, I'm sure Red Bull Vodka has a, uh, you, you know, if I you're gonna, so. if you're gonna call something a Red Bull Vodka, it has yeah. to be, it has to actually have Red Bull. Uh, if you're gonna have a, a Dark and Stormy, yeah. you have to have Goss. And if you're going to have a painkiller now, you have to have Pusser's rum. Really? So Daphne sort of lost her hold on this cocktail. It no longer was hers. Now this is Pusser's cocktail. Anyway, I just wanted to give Daphne her due credit. I if, love it. If I am one more voice that is shouting for us to that's remember. That's creativity and business. That's no exactly it. it all up. That's so exactly it, yeah. We're giving her back her... Uh, her Credit. And because we are a somewhat new channel, uh, Pussers does sue you if you make a uh, if you make a painkiller without really? using Pussers. Uh, so we are using wow. Pussers. We are using Pussers. So okay. uh, please don't sue us. Uh, please don't sue us, uh, Pussers. Uh, we will be using Pussers. Otherwise, you have to say this is not a painkiller. Uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, cocktail. It's like a rain killer. Well, a lot of a lot of cocktail or menus. Rain killer? Yeah, they'll say like not a painkiller, or they'll say really? you know, or a uh, same killer, something like that. They'll okay. just they'll go they'll go Whatever. nutty with it. All right. Uh, so we are going to build this one. I'm going to build you one like uh, Daphne did. Do it. Let's do it. Uh, I normally, know what Daphne knew. normally the recipe calls for two ounces, but I know Daphne. I don't know she Daphne. Uses three. I I would say that she would get closer to four. So her and Hemingway would get along. So her and Hemingway would get right along. Yeah, clearly. We're just going to go ahead and put uh, close to four, maybe a little bit more than four. Uh, in there, this is uh, this rum uh, is is an old recipe from the actual British Navy. Uh, they oh, found it's Navy strength. That always not, this sounds... technically isn't Navy strength. Oh, it's not okay. No, uh, but it is. It the, made it, me worry. That yes, no, 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 no. no. Uh, not Navy strength. It is just sort of from uh, from Navy times is what we're talking about. Okay. Uh, so we need some orange juice. Uh, we need a full ounce of orange juice. So let's see. Oh, good. Uh, the was orange it half juice. or a whole? Well, uh, when you do it with your hands, depends it's a little orange. different. Yeah, it depends on the orange. Uh -huh. uh, my, I did not have an orange squeezer. I only have a lemon squeezer, so we're gonna have to handle this uh, real quick. Oh, pointing it away from Tammy so we don't get an orange, uh, an Oompa Loompa Tammy. There we go. An Oompa Loompa? Well, they have- I'm gonna look like one. They had orange, Oompa they had orange. I'm not saying you look like, I'm saying if I sprayed you with orange, you would have orange on your face, that's an Oompa Loompa. It could just be a really bad spray tan. It could. It could be either one of those things. But I like to but live in fantasy. For the <laughs> I like to live in a fantasy world, Tammy. So we're gonna go full ounce of this OJ right here, uh, fresh nice. squeezed, if well you can, uh, way better. Uh, we are then going to use some coconut cream, some coconut cream or cream of coconut. This is Coco Real. Real. This stuff is awesome. Now. I like uh, that stuff. The problem with uh, putting this into the jigger, yeah. it'll never get out of there. So we're just gonna eyeball. Okay. Go shake it. Oh, it's brand new. Brand new. Presented by Fresh Bottles. They don't let me do a lot of tiki stuff here, so we're going no, here. No, we oh, do. That's you why do. we've already ran out, Scott. <laughs> That's, That's why there's true. a new one here. <laughs> I was just trying to complain. Don't be a we're gonna liar. go. We're gonna go about an ounce of that <laughs> stuff right there. So an ounce of orange juice, ounce of um, of uh, uh, coconut. Yeah. We're gonna do an ounce. Uh, we're gonna do. Uh, sorry, two ounces of pineapple juice. But it's definitely tiki-ish though. Oh, it's, it's tiki very stuff. tiki. I, you would have a hard time convincing me that even though this was not created by Dawn yeah. or Vic, yeah. that this is not a tiki drink. This is for sure a tiki drink. I love this guy. So we have this in here, uh, but uh, we are going full tiki here, Tammy. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna bring in your friend. Oh God, Mr. Blender. The, oh God, I hate the blender. Bring in Mr. Blender real quick, and we are going to blend this Ugh. up. Oh, all of well, our coconut right there on the bottom. 
Let's just get the rest of that. Coconut, Coconut is thick. It's in the thickness, Scott. Oh, baby. Mm, yeah, look at that. There we go. Get all that in there. We lost some, so we're just gonna put a touch more coconut. Why not? Keep it at an ounce. Cause you can. I mean, where, where else are we going? We got nowhere to be tonight. Uh, and we are going to blend. Now blend light. We do not want this to become a uh, frosty or oh, a freezy. Okay. We just want to break up some of this ice. We're doing like a little bit. What is that? You're, like a little, that's your the, blender I'm dance doing, is like an orphan asking for seconds. <laughs> what? You were like this. I was doing this. This is what, okay, everyone shut up. Everyone's fine. Everyone's fine in the it house. Was so sad. I had to stop the blender. It's not fully blended yet. All right. I just, I didn't want you to jump or something. <laughs> it was, man, oh man. All right, we're going to go ahead and pour this painkiller. Tammy needs it, clearly. Whatever. Tammy needs to kill some of whatever's going on in her. Because it wasn't a proper shake. No, That's why I wasn't going to give it my all. I gave it my half. I love it. It was just a, it was a half. I thought it was great, Tammy. I thought it was great. Whatever. We're going to do a new contest. We want to see that Tammy oh. dance from those from those uh, ice skating Germans. Those ice skating Germans can Please, show us. Don't yeah. make that a thing. Uh, we, uh, we don't have any bitterness in here. We yeah. don't have any lime. We don't have, it's all fruit. So what we want to do is we want to put a little bit of nutmeg, fresh grated right here on top uh, for my girl Daphne. This was a big part of her cocktail. There we go. So most of the bitter is going to come uh, from this nutmeg. This right here. Thank you. Is the Daphne Henderson Soggy Dollar Bar uh, Painkiller. All right, Daphne. Yeah. Here goes, girl. Yeah, there we go. Cheers. Oh, gosh, it smells great. Oh, God, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, this is such a good cocktail. This should be illegal. Oh, here's something fun for you. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> There's that dance. Happy dance. It's really good. It's really good. Really yeah, good. Daphne did well. Yeah. Um, we don't know whether she used pussers at the front, but at this point, if you don't use pussers, uh, they have a trademark on the drink. Mm. Uh, it's good. Yeah. Just not so hot on the nutmeg. You don't like the nutmeg? I don't know. You Was just I too honest? No, no, that's great. I'm just not a, I'm not a, but, uh, oh, Here. Uh, which is kind of funny. Danny just did uh oh, pretty sure Tammy ain't a fan of nutmeg. Uh oh. No, I do yeah. like nutmeg. I have, uh, I have this I'm one. Just not a I have this one without nutmeg. Okay. Take that one. Move this one over here. Yeah, let me know. Nutmeg is a major part of the drink because without that, there is no bitterness. There it is. There's that full dance. Yeah, I guess it's a nutmeg for me. I'm just not a, what is that? River dance. Dance? River oh, dance. the river dance. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> I guess I get. Well, it's 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 preference. Like yeah. if I ordered this from Daphne herself, yeah. I would say I absolutely love what you do. Sure. No nutmeg. No nutmeg. Yeah. No. no nutmeg. I I think that that I, is I, a that is a valid a situation. No, no, I'm good. No, I can't. That's a strong drink. I have to be places. I'm drinking your. <laughs> Sorry, Tammy. Uh, you can stay here. Stay here in Awesome City. That's true. I could. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. This it literally it reminds me of drinks you've made for me. Yeah. From Don, from yeah. Vic. Like yeah. things that inspired you to yeah. make your creations. Sure. This is exactly. Yeah. And I bet if we spoke to Daphne, she would say, "Oh yeah, I wonder if she's Team Don or Team Vic." You know, I don't know. She was bartending in the 70s. She's still alive. Uh, she so still alive? I'm just saying, like, she. We'll look her up. Yeah, we'll look up if, yeah. We'll find If Daphne, Daphne. is watching, yeah. uh, let us know. We'll, we'll, let's bring you on. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's, let's. I'm going to bring out everything I still have left that I haven't drank. <laughs> okay. Got a couple dents in those. This was the first one. This was, I know this was the last one. This was the painkiller. Mm -hmm. No, no, wait, no, wait. Painkiller oh, is I all the way at the end. You. Yeah, all the porn stars right here. No, painkiller, okay, where do we go? I'm confused. One, two, then the porn star, and porn then the painkiller is the right win. there. Yeah, that was the coastal winner, but we'll put yeah. it in there anyway. Yeah. All right, there we go. Here we go. There it is. Ooh. 
So we have the hanky panky. panky. We have the. We have the uh, French pearl. French pearl. Yeah. Ponce Martini. Ponce Martini. And then the, the painkiller. That's tricky. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna pick? Hmm. Yeah, we figured. I figured. Yeah, D D Daphne. Daphne created a it's fantastic a cocktail. Nice and simple, yeah. easy to go. These other women's cocktails are fantastic, uh, but if I had to, yeah. If I no had to nutmeg. Painkiller, no nutmeg. I made it a drink. Yeah. It's my rendition. Yeah. It's the the rain killer. The rain killer. Yeah. I love it. This is the rain killer. I'm in. Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> I loved it. Well, this one's yours. I'm not going to drink that. That's fine. I'll take that back. Thank you you sipped on Please. that. You you keep sipping on that. Mm. Um, That's good. This was so much fun. Yeah, I, I had a great time. Um, I think to win some coasters, some mixed cocktail hour coasters, let's let's just find out what people's favorite cocktails are. Once again, I will make a post over the weekend, and you guys not only comment on my post what your favorite cocktail is, but you also have to like, subscribe, and follow us on YouTube as well. Beautiful. We will know. We'll know. We'll know. We got it. And then next Friday, uh, you will make the winner. Send me something says. hard, guys. Let's yeah. find, let's get a, uh, let's, oh, geez, Louise. Ooh. Let's get a weird, uh, yes. let's get a weird one. Let's find a weird one. What's the weirdest, what's your, what's the weirdest cocktail that what's we can make? What's the weirdest cocktail you yeah. can think of that Kush can make? Let's do it, let's get in there. Don't make it easy. That's all I'm saying. If I can do one quick plug real quick, yes. I have a show coming up tomorrow. Absolutely. At 7 p.m. at uh, uh, youtube.com slash kushtender. Yes. Uh, it is cocktails inspired by Christina Ricci, my very favorite human of all time. Fantastic. We have been somewhat in touch with Christina. There's a chance that she shows up, so I'd really like a big army of people there so I don't look like a loser uh, just sort of talking in my room. Uh, I'd be very embarrassed. Uh, so if you guys could show up tomorrow, 7 p.m. Uh, YouTube.com slash Kushtender, C-U-S-H-T-E-N-D-E-R. -E I cannot wait. You know uh, I'll be there. Yes, uh, Glenn will be there for any Glenn new Glenn there. fans. There have <laughs> so been many weird. comments that, yeah. I, that I cannot read out. Yeah, yes. Uh, but he sounds absolutely fantastic. Oh, yeah. Grant's here. Oh, good, Grant. Grant finally tuned in. Grant, Grant. Yeah, Grant. Uh, Grant. He has, Hi, he's Grant. actually now taken on the, the mantle of Grant. Yeah. Grant. To me, his name's Grant. It's Grant. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for yeah. tuning in this week. We will be back in one week's time from Awesome City here for Mix Cocktail Hour. I'm Tammy Harrison. This is Scott Cushman. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, uh, Mommy Lang. Susan Lang. Susan Lang. Su Lin Lang. Cheerio, everybody. Cheers. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next week.